We'll start the story in Chicago, downtown Chicago, just a few blocks from Lake Michigan. At a place called the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. It's late October. This Friday is going to be 100 days that Jacob's been in the hospital. And I'm here to meet a Texas teenager named Jacob Brewer. Can't really do anything, so it's pretty hard. He's 15. He's in a wheelchair, his legs paralyzed, with doctors trying to help him learn to move again. Yeah, there's definitely some some highs and lows, has some bad days and good days. So. He has been through so much. So much that began with one moment on a beach in Sarasota, Florida, back in July. The Brewer family on the second day of a summer vacation. Gosh, did you guys see that? Jacob's sister, Ashley. My mom was screaming, Jacob. It was lightning and Jacob took a direct hit. And I was like, oh my gosh, that hit him. It was crazy. The bolt entered his chest, exited his right foot. Good Samaritans and paramedics performed CPR for 45 minutes, brought him back four different times. I mean, I really did think that he was going to die on the beach. Very, very scary. I was terrified. Two terrifying months had passed by the time we met at that rehabilitation hospital in Chicago. There is definitely a chance of uh, recovery, but it will just take a very long time. But it was also the day he got some very good news. I guess we're going back home to Texas after I get out of here, so. Back in Keller, the welcoming committee was getting ready. I hope it lifts his spirits. <laughs> they lined his street with signs and banners and balloons. <laughs> from Keller ISD built and installed a wheelchair ramp at his front door. I hope they get a sense of hope. I think that Jacob is, on, is an inspiration to all of us. He's here for a reason. Friends and neighbors ripped out the carpet, installed laminate floors to make it more wheelchair friendly, repainted the entire inside. His, his mom is always there for us when we, when we need her, and it was time that we step up and do something for this family. I'd hope that he would know that he's not alone, um, that he's got a lot of people pulling for him. <laughs> time he arrived with his own police escort, people pulling for him is exactly what he found. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. I mean, it's just incredible. We're so thankful for all the people it, that have come into our lives. Uh, our story could have been totally different. And, uh, you know, that's what we're thankful for. We're thankful that we're all together. And Jacob has endured multiple surgeries to his arms, his legs, his back to repair the nerve damage the lightning caused. He hopes he will eventually mend, eventually walk again. We're going to keep staying positive and working hard towards that and praying that that's what happens. No, I'm just thankful to uh, be here and still have the chance to live the rest of my life. A chance encounter with a bolt of lightning very nearly ripped this family apart. But in a house decorated for Thanksgiving, a little sister said it did the exact opposite. We're best friends. I don't know what I would do without him. I'm just really glad that he's alive. This has been an incredible journey. A journey that thanks to doctors, friends and strangers and a lot of prayer, that they get to continue taking together. In Keller, I'm Kevin Reese.